So I'm pretty sure I videoed this entire hike before, but I'm going to do it again. It, uh, it's about a 10 miler. We pass Diane and Baz on the way out and on the way back. On the way back, we'll be hot enough. We'll probably stop and put our feet in and whatever. Um, and then we head up. Um, forget what the name of the trail is now. Red, Red River Trail, something like that. Red Rocks Trail. Uh, and then eventually get to the top of North Mo Mountain. And then we come back by the stream all the way back. So, six tenths of a mile, we're at Diana's Bath. So, we'll come back to this, but gotta get a couple of pictures while we're here. This is a true bath. I think they must have been where they're back in the day where somebody would just sit, cool off. there, take a shower, or that one Getting there. Got a little ways to go before we get above tree line. Just cross this, no big deal. All right, first little glimpse. Just a little opening here, so we're not into the open yet, but. That's where we get to go to continue on. So anyway, another beautiful day. It's a warm day. Next opening. North part of North Conway, I think, down there. Uh, well, I should know that ski area. That, I believe, that lump in the front is White Horse Ledges. Tall peak in the back is uh, Mount Cursage. There is Mount Washington. Easy to pick out this time of year because it's one of only a couple that have snow still on it. So I believe that's our route right up the side of that. Up there, we'll head up 
that way to North Moat. I think that that little point there is North. And then come back down the ridge line. It was Washington. That in front of you is the Carter Notch. The Wildcat Mountains up on the left side and Carter Domes up on the right side. And I still don't remember the ski resort name. But I know they have a zip line and a few other things. Still going up. We've reached the wide open stages. destination get closer I'll come back to the point if that's where we go and then we go back down who said that <laughs> <laughs> okay she just pointed out that after we go there we have to go all the way back down and then get to the car so I guess that's the ultimate hike <laughs> One of these old man spots. I don't have great flexibility. All right. I'm sure I'll be filming before we get there. All right, just finished this stretch and we're out of breath. Once again, it doesn't look that steep, but you try it. Oh, there's the mountains again. There's Washington and there's North Moat. Little more up but not too much left which is good there's middle and south to the left oh shit I didn't press start. Come back down. I'm serious. I didn't press start.
whatever. Make it look natural. Like I said, steeper than it looks. That's where you're hoping your shoes hold. All right, I gotta put it away for here. So we're not quite there. Uh, I can see through the trees. Let's see if we can get you to see. Just the very top of the... Oh, there's a person up there too. Not too far away. Quarter mile maybe. But we'll get a completely wide open look at all this once we get there. Always the most recognizable in this section is uh, Mount Chakura there, right in the middle of there, just the way it's got an open top to it. But when we get to the top top, we'll give you better pictures. Okay, I promised. So that's the way we came up over, I don't know. Some of that, I think maybe that ridge there. Anyway, so that's south. There's Chakur again. Several other mountains, including, uh, let's see. Dry pyramids, uh, the Hancocks, the Osceola is over there. The Blah Blah Mountains. Uh... All right, now we get to uh, Washington again in the middle. And Attach and Carter Dome. Mount Kearsage there that we were showing you on the way up. And through the trees there is that damn ski resort that I still can't remember. North Conway down below. And back. You can see the ridge line that we came up there. Here she comes. <clears throat> so I just had to walk around to figure out where the trail was. You come off the top like that, unless there's a sign, it's not all that obvious. And fortunately I have an app that said I was, it was kept saying hot and cold. Oh, okay, it didn't. But that's basically what I was doing with it. Okay, I think I found it. Now it's hard to leave with views like this, but it's a beautiful day. Alright. 
before I slide. I'll turn this off. Say hi. Me too. This water is cold. We just got off the man the, the mountain. We got this stream walk a couple miles or so back to Diana's baths. Well we needed water so we stopped to filter some water, fill up and drank some. Decided it was too nice of a spot so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and uh, cool off and boy it cools you off. My feet have just about gone numb. Well, what a nice spot. It's even got this little sandy beach here. How's that? Somebody's footprints. Oh, fine. Just put that on a loop for a while. Yeah. It'd be a good thing to sleep through. Back at Diana's Baths. This is the upper section, I guess, if you will. That's a popular pothole where you can disappear into it. That's the popular Nancy. And it continues that way. Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, so finished back in the car. I almost forgot to do this, so we're doing it. Um, 10 miles, just about 3,000 feet, yeah. something like that. Uh, quite a few people at Diana's Baths. If, assuming I include those video clips, you'll see that parking lot. Not packed, but busy it's 83 degrees so that's why uh, nice hike and uh, Nancy enjoyed the water part <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um, there'll be one more for tomorrow I, I think and uh, then we'll see how the weather works after that <laughs>